Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. You will see this video on Saturday and I am at the grocery store because we are heading out of town today. We rented a cabin and we are so excited to head up to the lake for the weekend. So I'm here to not only do my shopping for camping, but also to do my shopping for next week. So you'll see my grocery haul. You'll be seeing this on Saturday, but it is Thursday and it is just before 7 a.m. So I just got some gas in my car. I'm heading into the grocery store and then we're heading home to get ready to go camping. I cannot wait. So I will be filming my grocery haul when I get home. I am currently at Fred Meyer. After I leave here, I'll be stopping at Walmart to do a grocery pickup there as well. I decided to order from both places. There were some things that I needed from Walmart. So I thought that I would do some grocery shopping here at Fred Meyer and then grab the rest of it at the Walmart grocery pickup. So if you want to see what I have planned for camping and for all of my meals for next week and my meal plan, all you have to do is stay tuned. So here is my grocery haul for this week. I had both Walmart grocery pickup and I went to Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. So let's get into this week's grocery haul and then I'll be sharing with you my meal plan. So first I grabbed two of the Talking Ring sparkling water. Zero calories, zero sweetener, so they're zero points. I had to buy one, get one free coupon, so that made them 75 cents for both. So I got a peek peach nectarine and a lemon lime also at walmart i found these this is a new find these are scrambled egg patties made from real eggs they are fully cooked here is the nutritional information and here is the ingredients so there is milk powder and oil in them so i would have to count them but it looks like they'll be one point but i'll put them here on the screen but i thought how easy and convenient for a super quick breakfast sandwich and they are perfectly shaped so there's nine of them you just heat them up and serve them so I thought that was kind of an interesting find at Walmart I also grabbed Alexia sweet potato fries I love these and they are seasoned with sea salt and black pepper love these in the air fryer hamburger buns or I'm sorry hot dog buns this is to take camping with us I looked all over the store and these were the lowest point I could find and these were three smart points all of the other hamburger buns were four so three points it is and I will be having either a one or two point hot dog so really not bad for a hot dog so those are for camping I also picked up two dozen eggs one dozen is for me for breakfast throughout the week and also to take with us camping and then the other dozen is for egg salad sandwiches for my husband for the upcoming week so two dozen eggs also for those egg salad sandwiches I grabbed some dill relish and then I also decided to pick up some sweet relish as well. Sometimes I like to mix the two together in egg salad sandwiches. I think it makes a nice combination. So dill and sweet relish. Also at Walmart, I stocked up on my fat-free cream cheese. I just throw these into the freezer, pull them out as needed. Best price at Walmart, lowest points for fat-free. So you can see here that I grabbed two of the fat-free cream cheese. I've never bought the Fairlife milk, but I went ahead and picked it up because it is way less points than regular milk, and one of my dinner recipes calls for this milk. So I thought that I would try it. I am not a milk fan. I do not drink milk. I only cook with it, or and I very rarely put it in my coffee. I usually have milk alternative. But for the smart point savings, I decided to grab it for a recipe. Speaking of milk, I picked up another container of the unsweetened silk almond coconut milk. Love this and pretty much everything. I put this in my coffee every day as well. I I love it. And the silk is actually a really good thick brand, which I was delighted to see last week. I also grabbed some tzatziki dip, and this is for some euros that I'm going to be making this upcoming week. I know you can make your own, but for time's sake, I decided just to pick it up, and the smart points were not bad at all. So again, this is for some euros. Also, fat-free sour cream. This is for some upcoming recipes as well. I can't really tell much difference between the fat-free and the light sour cream, uh, so I generally will grab the fat-free just for the point savings. I know you can use non-fat Greek yogurt, but honestly, I prefer sour cream. Also, Jif Whips. I haven't had this in a while, and I love this. So this is for an upcoming protein ball recipe. So really excited to try that recipe out. You'll see that in meal prep. 
Also, I grabbed some lemon juice. We were completely out of lemon juice and I do just like to have it on hand for quick recipes. My very, very favorite bacon in the world is the Private Selection Center Cut Bacon. Two slices of this bacon is only one smart point. So this is a staple in my house. I wish they sold that low of point bacon at Costco because this is pretty pricey. It's $5 for this package, but you can't beat two slices of bacon for one point. I got a lot of meat, as you can see. They were having a really good sale. So I picked up this huge pack of bone-in pork chops. They were buy one, get one free. And I do have a couple of recipes coming up that I'll be using pork in. So big pack of pork chops. I also picked up a pack of stew meat. This is for an upcoming recipe as well. Not a bad price for this big package of lean meat. The other freebie from the buy one get one free pork is pork tenderloin and I need this for an upcoming recipe this next week. So basically I paid $11 for both this huge pack of pork tenderloin and the pack of pork chops. So you can't beat that when it's buy one get one free meat. Also buy one get one free which I was super excited to see is my favorite chicken breast. This is the boneless skinless chicken the organic this does not have any rib meat so it is a true zero point chicken so it was buy one get one free it was $12.76 per package so I paid $12.76 for both packages not bad for organic chicken breast also Canadian bacon this is for an upcoming recipe as well and I picked up the my very favorite mild Italian chicken sausage. You know I love, love, love this chicken sausage. It is so low point. I was going to buy ground lamb for my euros, but holy moly is lamb high in fat. So I decided that I was going to use this to make my euros instead. Save a ton of smart points. By the time you add all the goodness, you're not even gonna notice any difference. So that's what this mild chicken sausage is for. So that's all the meat that I picked up for the week, quite a bit here. Moving into canned goods. I grabbed a can of black beans. I am making a burrito bowl for my lunches, so I needed black beans for that. Also for a recipe, I needed beef consomme. Now I have never seen this before. I don't even know what the difference is between beef broth and beef consomme. If you know, leave it down in the comments, but it specifically called for this. And for that same recipe, it specifically called for a golden mushroom Campbell's condensed soup. Never heard of this either. So again, don't know what the difference is, but these two things are what the recipe called for. So that's what that's for. A can of veggie broth. This is also for an upcoming dinner recipe. A huge 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. You know Hunt's is my very favorite. Also for a recipe. And then the usual weekly buy of cut green beans for my dogs. I give these to them instead of table scraps and they love it, don't even know the difference. Also for a recipe I needed cooking wine or a dry wed red wine and I decided to just grab cooking wine because I'm not a big wine drinker, especially red wine. So I thought that this would be better and I could have this on hand for future recipes as well. Also picked up creme brulee because I've seen this on both Amanda Lewis at RIP Fat Girls channel and Amanda Seipert's channel. They love this coffee and I need ground coffee for camping because I have to use a traditional coffee pot versus my Nespresso espresso machine. So I thought that I would try this and have it for camping. I also picked up a big pack of Ritz. I like these because they are the individual pre-packaged stacks so that you don't have to have them go bad or get stale. You can just open up one small pack at a time. And this is for camping. We are going to have meat, cheese, and crackers for lunch on Friday, the day that I use my weeklies. Fat-free Ready Whip, which as you know, is something I buy every single week. And also fat-free half and half. I don't put this in my coffee very often, but mainly I needed the fat-free half and half for a dinner recipe. Also from Walmart, since I did a pickup, I grabbed Velveeta Shreds. I do really like this cheese and it is one smart point less than traditional light shredded cheese. This is two smart points versus three. So I like to have this on hand for when I'm needing some light shredded cheese. And then I picked up quite a few frozen veggies. I have the sweet peas. We really like these bird's eye steam fresh sweet peas. 
Also, I grabbed the Bird's Eye Steam Fresh Broccoli Carrot Sugar Snap Pea and Water Chestnuts. And lastly, just some mixed vegetables. So I do buy a lot of frozen veggies. I like to have those on hand for dinners throughout the week. And the rest of what I have to show you is produce. So I have an orange that is for an upcoming dinner recipe. Also some mushrooms, and these were a great deal. So these are the organic mushrooms. Two zucchinis for dinner, two limes, a big, huge pack of celery, both for a recipe and also for snacking. My favorite little carrot snack packs, I love these. These are pre-portioned, super easy, not wasting a Ziploc bag, packs of carrots for me to take with me to work. Also three peppers, and this is for my burrito bowl. So I have orange, yellow, and red, so just a variety of colors. A big stock of green onions and a lot of fruit. So I picked up two huge packs of blueberries. This 18 ounce pack was only $2.50 at Fred Meyer on sale. And then I also grabbed this huge pack at Walmart. Our plan is, is to make a blueberry strawberry fruit mix to take with us camping. So grab some strawberries for that. This is a two pound package. And then lastly, I grabbed some grapes at Fred Meyer. And this along with blueberries are my fruits for the upcoming week. So let me show you what drinks I grabbed and then we'll move into the meal plan. So for drinks, I picked up the beer that I absolutely love that I talked about in my weigh-in video. This is the Lean and Kegel Summer Shandy. So I grabbed three of the lemon. And also, since I kind of made my own six pack, I also grabbed three of the Grapefruit Shandy as well. So again, I usually only have one or two beers, but this will last me for quite a while. Also two huge 20, four packs of Diet Coke. These were on sale at Walmart for $6. So I had to buy two. As you know, my husband drinks a ton of Diet Coke, a ton. Also grabbed a big pack of water for camping and for the upcoming week. And then lastly, I grabbed some bubbly at a coupon. So I got the blackberry and the grapefruit. I like to take those to work to have some sparkling water with lunch. So those are the drinks that I picked up for the week. And now let's move into the meal plan. So let's get into the meal plan. Here is my Carriel meal planner. As you know, I absolutely positively love my meal planner. I use it every single week for several different things. I love all of the tabs. It is so nice. It's very comprehensive. And and of course it's absolutely gorgeous so we have our resources our inventory our meal plan our gatherings if you have a special event coming over you can plan your gathering and our notes tab so we are going to go into the meal plan tab you can plan your meals by the week which i always always do there is a detachable grocery list as well per week so i do use that each week so you can plan it by the week and then also by the month and this helps me at a glance see exactly what I need to pull out of my freezer the night before to be prepared for dinner. So let's get into this week's meal plan. And I'm going to show you my monthly too. I've been kind of working on the month of June as well. But here is this week's meal plan. You can see that I did use the weekly plan as well as the detachable grocery list. It is a missing. So my week will run from Saturday through Friday. So starting today through, oh, I'm sorry, starting, yeah, starting today through next Friday. So on Saturday, I'm going to be making instant pot bolognese with some vegetables. I, I am using my weeklies on Thursday. So I will be on, or I'm sorry, on Friday when we're camping. So I will be on track on Saturday. So I'll be making a Weight Watcher friendly dinner. Also on Sunday, I'm going to be making gyros with tzatziki sauce and vegetables, which sounds so good. Monday is Instant Pot Carnitas with refried beans and vegetables. Again, delicious. Two fantastic Instant Pot recipes coming your way. Tuesday, I'll be making Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Again, I cannot wait to share this recipe with you and pairing that with some vegetables. Wednesday is lightened up beef stroganoff, which again, sounds so good. Again, with some veggies. And then my husband's route has changed and he now has Thursday, Fridays off. So the days that he's off, we typically just have leftovers. It's easier for me to film, to be honest, when he's not here, uh, especially when I'm preparing a dinner. So Thursday and Friday, we'll be eating our leftovers from the week. A lot of you ask me, what do you do with all of your food since you make a new dinner every night? We eat the leftovers at least two nights per week. So 
it's gone for sure. My husband eats it for breakfast. We never ever have to throw away food, which is fabulous. On the back of my weekly planner is where I will plan out my meal prep. So what you're going to see in meal prep Monday for breakfast this week, I'm going to be making egg casserole with mushrooms and Canadian bacon. This recipe sounds so good. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. And then I'm just going to have some fruit with that for breakfast. Easy but delicious breakfast. For lunch, I'm going to be making copycat Qdoba chicken burrito bowls. Again, cannot wait for this. Sounds so good. I love the chicken at Qdoba, and I've always wondered, how do they get it to taste so good? Well, I'm going to show you, my friends, because I found a recipe. So we're going to be making Qdoba chicken burrito bowls for lunches, and then I'm going to be making protein bites. I cannot wait to make these. These are peanut butter, chocolate chip, low point delicious satisfying protein bites so you will be seeing all of this in meal prep this upcoming monday so that is my plan for the week this is my carryall meal planner if you're interested in this planner i do have a link down below click the link enter the discount code here on the screen and you will save 10 percent you can pick yourself up any planner you choose they have meal planners daily monthly yearly vision boards you name it they have it so check out the carry l website so thank you for joining me on this week's WW Weekly Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the great groceries that I picked up to stay on track for the upcoming week. I'm really excited about some of the new food finds, those egg patties, just some of the different delicious food finds for this week. Of course, I'm loving that guy right there, my Carriel meal planner. So make sure you guys check that out down in the description box below. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell. That way you're notified every single time that I upload. You don't want to miss a single video. Give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what's on your meal plan for the week and what of the recipes that I shared with you are you most excited to see. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.